Hey guys, Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com. In this video, I'm going to show you three great exercises for building chest mass. All right, I'm going to give you three of my favorites. There's a ton of great exercises out there. However, if you come to me and your goal is to really start building mass, good full chest muscle, I'm going to give you these three every time. So keep that in mind. All right. First one we're going to do is a dumbbell bench press. I love the bench press. However, a lot of people have immobile shoulders and you don't want to go straight to a barbell bench press if you have any shoulder issues at all. And there's just a lot more to getting set up correctly with the barbell as opposed to doing it with dumbbells. Also, I like the full range of motion that you get out of a dumbbell uh, bench press plus the hand adjustments. All right. If you have any type of shoulder injuries at all, always rotate the hands in slightly. Okay. Keep that in mind. You don't have to keep them straight out. I actually always bring mine in slightly. Just feels a lot more natural on my shoulder. So do that as well. If you have any shoulder issues. All right. Basically, I'm going to give you a couple tips. Dumbbell bench. Set up what you want to do here when you're getting ready. Make sure you keep your core tight for one when you're rocking back. A lot of people take that and don't really pay attention to it. They'll drop straight back. You can actually injure your back if you do that. So make sure your core is tight. I like to rest it on my body. Core is tight. Retract your shoulder blades. All right. I like to keep those packed in and then also Tighten your core here. All right. I'll get up here, get my shoulders nice and tight, retracted. If you notice the angle of the dumbbells, that's pretty much where I like to keep my hands. That's the proper hand position. You start getting out here, you start really hitting the shoulder joint a lot more. So let's go with some of that external rotation. Nice, deep stretch. Good contraction. Really focus on your mind-muscle connection when you're doing these. It's easy to ego lift, but that's not what the goal is. If your goal is to pack on muscle hypertrophy, then it's not about the weight. It's about controlling the weight with the chest, making your chest do all of the work. Trying to eliminate the shoulders as much as possible. And any cheating and momentum. All right, I'll just show you one more good stretch good contraction. All right. Typically what I recommend is six to eight rep range. Don't really need to go below the six. Six is heavy enough as long as you're challenging yourself. Don't stop at six if you can do 10. So make sure you're really pushing yourself to get to the six to eight. That's the other point I want to give you. Now, second exercise. All right. We've hit the mass of the center chest. That's the one thing that you're really going to focus on with the dumbbells. You get a really good stretch, good contraction at the top. All right. Now I like to hammer the lower chest up into the mid chest by using dips. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know I love dips. I add dips to a lot of my workouts. Whether I'm doing arm training, chest training, there's so many really good benefits, all right? So to get more emphasis on your chest, keep the bars wider. Parallel bar dips, that's what you're wanting to do, not bench dips. You'll notice these actually come in tighter. When you're real tight into your body, that's how you can isolate, uh, place more emphasis on your triceps. That's not the goal here. So we're wanting to bring them out wide. And you're also going to get a forward lean and bring your elbows out slightly. Tucked in and narrow triceps. Out and wide chest. So what we're going to do is get a nice good stretch. And on the way up, focus on really contracting the pecs. All right all pecs. You're lifting with your pecs when you're coming up. That's your mindset. Mind muscle connection. All right. So again, good stretch. Good stretch here. 
Good contraction at the top. And your goal here will be the 10 to 12 rep range. So, one thing to keep in mind, we're all starting different fitness levels, conditioning levels, strength levels. 10 to 12, if that is way too easy for you, if you can do 15 to 20 body weight squats, then you do want to add some weight when you're doing these, all right? Add some resistance, a dip belt, dumbbell between your feet, anything you can do to add extra resistance because you do want to challenge yourself within the 10 to 12 rep range. All right, that's the second exercise. Third one. Now we're really going to focus on the upper chest. One thing I like to do with the upper chest, when we're working on the upper chest, it's not just about the clavicle up here, the thick upper, but I love getting that good deep separation up top. So a good way to do that, let me show you over here, is doing an incline dumbbell press, but with an isometric, okay, to it. So. Let's see, doesn't take a whole lot of weight. Let me show you the setup over here. Basically what you're gonna to wanna to do with this to really get that upper chest, you'll notice I have the dumbbells here. I'm about to squeeze them together and watch, see if I can get some chest work. If you notice they contract a lot more, that's the goal here, all right? So we're gonna get two dumbbells together Get them right up here against each other and press the crap out of these dumbbells, all right? Together as hard as possible. So we're going to take a nice stretch, elbows out. You don't want to tuck them in too much here. Let's keep them out so we can really get a good press, good isometric contraction. Back up, especially here. The higher up you go, the more you're pressing together, the harder that contraction is going to be. And you're really going to hammer that inner upper chest. Here, two, three, four, five, six. So again, let me just, you're not just holding these together, all right? Touching and going through the motions, you're pressing them together as hard as possible. That's the first part of the contraction and you're maintaining that pressure all the way down and all the way up as high as you can get these dumbbells up. Down, up. All right, that is one of my all time favorite upper chest exercises. So, because you're getting that double contracted work, all right, anytime you can bring your hands together hard you're gonna get a really tight contraction you're also getting that good stretch at the bottom press up at the top so two movements just make sure your mind muscle connection is really focusing on both movements it's gonna be easy when you got lactic acid building up your muscles are on fire they're burning it's gonna be easy to not press very hard to just finish the reps However, what I want you to do, if you really want your chest to grow, make every single rep count, all right? Every rep, two movements. Together as hard as possible, down and up as hard as possible. Those two will give you a massive contraction, gonna really help that whole thickness, inner part of your chest, upper chest. The dips are really gonna do some awesome stuff to your lower chest, and then overall mass with the dumbbell uh, bench press. So guys do those three and I would recommend four sets of each. I mean, if you're really wanting your chest to grow, that's 12 sets for chest, but you are going to annihilate that chest, man. But you're really going to stimulate every muscle fiber as well. Good, deep muscle, that good dense muscle. You're going to build really good shapely pecs. 
But guys, give those a shot. Like I said, six to eight on the heavy lift, 10 to 12 on the other two, four sets each. It's not gonna take a lot of time. You're gonna get a lot of growth, a lot of positive benefits by doing that. So give it a shot, let me know what you think. If you have any questions about any of this, comment below and let me know. Also guys, two programs out there for you. Ripped After 40 for men, full body workout. It's gonna help you get ripped. Perfect with summer around the corner. Get lean, beach body ready, lake body ready, whatever you're wanting. It's got a meal plan, got everything you need, man, to get lean. So check that one out. Also, anabolic arms, arm program. If you really want to focus on building bigger arms, again, summer, arms are very impressive. So if you want to do that, I've got my anabolic arms program out there as well. There's a couple links in the description box. You can click on either one or both, check them both out. And uh, guys, that's all I got. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, man, please subscribe to the channel. Got a ton of videos out. Watch some other ones. We got tons of videos out there showing you how to do exercises, workouts for everybody part. But man, get busy, get after it. God bless.